This year marks the 35th year for this sporting event, and once again organizers have ensured the talent level is high. The defending champs from Thunder Bay are back, along with two other teams from Ontario and the Compete Rams from south of the border. Great to see both Kelowna teams will be in the tournament. We've got our major midgets that are first in their division actually in the whole province of British Columbia, and then of course the Fripp Warehouse Junior Rockets, which are doing very well also. So that along with uh, three top teams out of Ontario, you have the Burlington Eagles, the Waterloo, and also of course Thunder Bay. Uh, the competition will be fierce. We're in tough every year. Last year was a real dream season. You know, we went 5-0 and in the round robin, and uh, I'd be happy to go 3-2 and this year, to be honest with you. It's a tough, I, I believe it's even a tougher tournament this year. There's more, we, we got our major midget team in, and we got a, a Waterloo's back, you know, Thunder Bay and uh, Burlington. High quality teams, now we've got the academies. There's new academies in, in BC with Burnaby Winter Club and South Delta. It'll be tough. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's an elite tournament and it really pushes my, my boys to get better. I know that after our experience last year, we were a better team for it. And it showed, you know, we were able to win the provincials at the end of the year. There is a valid reason teams would travel from so far away to compete here. They're more or less uh, all shooting to be the national champion and they want to see the competition that's out here in British Columbia and other provinces. The tournament has a rich history of participating players who've gone on to solid NHL careers. Among them, Brett Hull, Russ Courtnell and Willie Mitchell. Now, there is a new kid on the block, Tyler Benson, who plays for the Pursuit of Excellence in Kelowna. The top pick in the WHL Bantam Draft already played one game for the Giants in November and is drawing rave reviews when he plays. He is expected to play this year and should be a handful for those teams who have to face him. Played their second team, but not them, so I haven't even had a chance to see Benson. I saw him as a Bantam, but I haven't seen him as a midget. Incredibly skilled, incredibly high level player, yeah. Is he the kind of guy you got to put pay special attention to? Well, we're going to have to watch him for sure, yeah. You know, I don't know if you can uh, can stop him, but maybe contain him and slow him down a bit. That's what we're hoping. The Vancouver province uh, did an article on him. They're comparing him actually to Mario Lemieux, which is fantastic. So uh, the fans want to come out and see the future stars. I mean, we've had Paul Correa, Joe Sackick, Jerome McGinley, Cliff Ronning, just to name a few that have played in this tournament over the past. New this year will be the final game being played at Pospera Place trying to get an experience for the young men uh, anytime they come to this town they look at that big rink and of course they all want to have a chance to play in it so if you're in the finals uh, you get to play there with uh, all the bright lights and uh, it's just another opportunity for them to uh, showcase their talents as there's many scouts that come in here from the WHL, BCHL, KIHL, Junior B and also uh, the NCAA so fantastic for these young men to, to perform. The Thunder Bay Kings defeated the Pursuit of Excellence 5-2 in last year's championship game. For more information on this year's tournament, including the teams, check out Kimmit.com. Reporting for Goal Kanagan, I'm Tim Morton in Kelowna.